right, our last topic. A House committee did a little redistricting of its own this week as it got ready to vote on an anti-abortion measure known as the Heartbeat Bill. The chair of the House Health and Aging Committee replaced members of the panel likely to vote against the bill with others who support it. The committee then okayed the bill that would ban abortion after a fetal heartbeat is detected. It's now in the hands of the full House. Mike Onodakis, you are a strong anti-abortion activist, but you, like the governor, have, quote, concerns about this bill. You don't like it. Sure. Um, well, you know, we like the fact that every human being with a beating heart should be protected. We like that premise, but there's a thing called the federal courts. And full disclosure, I am the president of Ohio Right to Life, so make sure that yeah. put that out on the table. But it's not the issue so much as what will happen in the federal courts. We, we've read the book. We know how it ends. And currently now, under the guides of Roe v. Wade, we can't pass measures that are pre-viability. So um, the unintended consequences, you have nine members on the United States Supreme Court, Five of them currently now rule against us. So it's simple math. We would lose five to four, maybe six to three. So why would we invite a court that's against us to rule uh, on, a, on so an abortion? So you don't agree issue? with the, the supporters of this bill who think this is the case, this is the law that could overturn Roe versus Wade? Certainly. No, it's, that's just not the case. If you look at abortion jurisprudence, uh, even when we had uh, the, the ban on partial birth abortion procedures and we set the viability standards, it wasn't based on an all or nothing approach. So um, I. I I, I applaud the, the debate that we have, but um, we've got to be careful for unintended consequences. Now, we didn't have a lot of debate on this bill, though, I should point out. This bill got one hearing and was limited to three hours of testimony, and the hearing was called about a day before the bill was voted on. So there wasn't a ton of debate on this bill, although it's been before the legislature before the issue has, but there's a new group of legislators on it. I, I'm just not so sure this bill goes any further than committee, though. You don't uh, think the full House has uh, voted on it? I don't think, I'm not sure they have 50 votes in the House to go on this bill. We'll see. And if it does pass the House, the Senate and the governor have both said they have concerns about it. And it was, of course, buried in the Senate last time around, two mm -hmm. years ago. So well, why does this keep coming up? It's, it, people are very passionate yeah. about this issue. And there's a, a small group of uh, people in Ohio who have been pushing this continuously since before the since 2011. Supporters of the bill have been relentless on this issue. I yeah. mean, they've run ads, they've had rallies, they continue to call, you know, uh, call lawmakers. I mean, so th they've put up a good fight for this bill and they've gotten some, you know, this is this is their reward, I guess. Sandy, you're strongly in favor of abortion rights. Is it odd to be kind of aligned in some ways with anti-abortion folks on this <laughs> bill in particular? <laughs> No. Uh, w one of the reasons why this thing keeps coming back is because the governor hasn't swatted it down. When George Voinovich was governor and somebody trotted out an English-only bill, he called it the dumbest idea of the 14th century, and the bill was dead. It was funny, and it was dead. And we haven't seen that from, Voin from uh, this governor. He's, you know, I have concerns. Yeah, it's unconstitutional, and it's a waste of our time, and we have really big problems that the state really should be addressing instead of currying favor with Janet Port. Folger Porter or whatever her name is. So we'll know next week whether or not it goes to the full House, I suppose, by, well, after Thanksgiving, I suppose. Right, yeah. right. But, you know, we should note this is the end of the legislative term, so this was going to have to move through the House, go to the Senate, and move through the Senate before the end of the year, which is highly, highly yeah. unlikely.